Alright guys, this is Mithril back with another Borderlands 3 item guide video and today I'm here on Xylorgos at the Cankerwood. So normally you spawn all the way over here and then you have to make your way all the way through here till you get to this area right here. And then there should be an enemy somewhere. There he is, the Fungal Gorger. First try? Sweet first try. That's what we're looking for. The mutant. Uh, please get that out of the background. There we go. So yeah, we're looking for the mutant. It is a Jacob's AR. Okay, it's got a alien barrel. You can see its eyes, its teeth, and then its fins. Okay, it's green. Oh, and the green is actually animated. That's pretty cool. Even on little handle here. And then what's like the rest? A purple color, maybe? Some sort of leather? And then just white? Okay. Not too bad. So anyways, it's red text is super unnatural. So the unique ability of the mutant is it shoots a continuous laser beam with unreliable accuracy. Mine says 73. And then it has a ricochet effect. Critical hits ricochet one bullet at the nearest enemy. How does that work considering it shoots a laser beam? Hmm. I must have gotten a real bad one because the god roll does 44,000 and I only do 31,000. That's a lot of damage to be missing out on. But it is the first one to drop, so this is what we're going to review. Okay, first off, weird. You can see it shoots bullets. Okay, that's really weird. Um, let us go in you know, test this weapon out on some bad guys now. All right, so we're here at Carnivora. Now I have a old, not an old god, a revolter. I'm running a bounty hunter class mod. The pearl, a gorillas in the mist build. No bar. All right, let's see how this weapon does. Um. Not good so far. Okay, now it's working better with the revolter activated. Let's see, how far does it shoot considering it's a laser beam? Okay, I am definitely not hitting that guy. So it looks like you got to be more up close and personal. Man, even in fadeaway, it's not that good. That's weird. Wow, how'd you guys hit me? Yeah, yeah. can't hit him from far away. That's kind of annoying. I don't like it, to be honest. I don't really like it at all. It doesn't do enough damage, I feel like, but that could just be because of, you know, the one that I got to drop, or maybe it's just I'm using it wrong. I don't know. Not really a big fan of it so far, but uh, let us go and check it out on a boss now. All right, so I'm here on Necrodefeo in front of General Trance Arena. I made sure to put on the pearl. It's time to fight. Uh, so far, the damage isn't really too impressive. Alright, that is better. Uh, 
I don't know. I'm just not really a fan of this weapon, to be honest. But uh, yeah, there you go, guys. That was basically today's video or review on the Mutant. If you guys enjoyed, make sure to leave a like, comment, share, and subscribe because well on my channel. And I will appreciate it like always. And then let me know, did I use this weapon correctly? If I did, great. If I didn't, make sure to let me know. And then I will do a part two or something on it. And then I hope to see you guys next time.